Welcome viewers, Lauren here, back with another episode of Rome Total War. And in the last episode, you... well, my audio recording messed up, so you had no Wait, idea what I was saying the entire time. Um, I had a little bit of trouble with the, some of the Senate missions. I believe I'm capturing Corduba now. Yes, and I still just barely have time if I assault. And, as usual, I ended such that I can just hit and turn instantaneously. And, whoa. Okay. Visual error there. Oh, man. I don't know how I'm gonna take Roma. I guess I'll probably just use the normal Legionnaire things. Whoa. Okay. Empire happiness plummeted. My faction leader die or something? Why is suddenly everywhere less happy? I have two settlements that are red, a yellow, a yellow, a yellow. Wow. Oh, I wonder. Is there a wonder here? No. Huh. I wonder why. Public order plummeted. Uh, anyways, Syracuse, where are this? This scroll? is the settlement scroll. The one. There you are. Okay. So, you, I believe, are fully Roman. Yeah, uh, not quite. You can get a large stone wall, even though I generally don't like to get large stone walls. Lilibaeum, are you fully Romanized? Uh, you need a stable, and that's it. Okay, good. And Sieta. You are not fully Romanized, I don't think. Yeah, you're nowhere near fully Romanized. And shipwright for money would probably be good. You have some trade goods. Mm, what trade goods do you have? I wish I could see... Or I wish I knew how I could. How. What, like, what resources they have. Oh, there's devastation here? Why? Are there peasants? Ah, there's a rebellion over there, right. So that would be a good thing to fix. You don't. Well, no. Technically, you do need things. It's just that they've already been built, so I can destroy them and rebuild. And, huh. You can actually. Destroy the, uh, the sewer? Hmm. I didn't realize that. Can you destroy the higher levels of Hmm. I thought that um the public health things were one of those buildings that you can't destroy. My population's growing everywhere, unfortunately. Um, but it doesn't look like- oh, I should remember that there is a- yeah, it looks like everywhere is pretty happy, and I should really use this scroll more often because it gives a convenient overview. I can just look at these things, these loyalty bars, and if any of them are green, that means I can raise taxes. If they're red, it means I can have to lower taxes. Very convenient. And right, you I captain. Set sail there. All ashore. And then I wonder if Orders. there are any good mercenaries here. They're Balearic slingers. Which I like, but I'm not going to get because Attack! Besieging settlement, are very sir. Expensive. Settlement under siege, sir! Expects the Spanish Inquisition. All right, and you're going somewhere for some reason. For I don't know why. <laughs> oh yeah, I think you were picking up generals to distribute them throughout the Roman Empire, which can I see in the lists? Oh, I can. Oh yeah, I can see which ones have governors and which ones don't. Okay, so Dimidi, Tingi, and Sirta 
need cities. Or, we need generals. I, Captain. Set sail. I do not Orders. use that list scroll anywhere near enough. So, you, what do you guys have? Nice! A lot of General. management, apparently. What are you getting? General. You have pretty good management. Lively? Hmm. Wow, that's nice. Healing poorly, okay, that's too bad. Cold manner, minus two influence, eh, makes sense. It's fine. But he doesn't really need that much influence. Um, nice, plus one influence. Although, doesn't, since you can't go Boarding. negative, it, well, yeah, it doesn't really have an effect. General! General! Forward! I probably have some other excess generals. Out of mood, sir. Somewhere, I'm sure. Right? Hmm, maybe not. I guess not. Okay. New construction report. I'm actually making very good money again. So that's excellent. Wait, did I just... Orders. Okay, I think I just... Attack! Oh no, I can't assault. Okay. It's last turn that I built, built this up. Bull warriors, what are those? Uh, melee attack, 14. Oh, so these guys are basically the Spanish version of Roman legionnaires. Heavy weapons, 14 melee attack, 13 total defense. Compared to my can't see. Why can't I see the values of these things? Okay, I can withdraw and that's Sir! Part. Um yeah, so I I think I have Prepare higher defense. Because I have eleven and twenty-four. They have um yeah. So I have much higher defense but I have a slightly lower melee attack. I'll fight this on the battlefield, of course. Fortunately, they do not have a general, so that should make this battle quite easy. All I have to do is just beat the bull warriors. I think they have some skirmishers or something, but as usual, skirmishers like, they can maybe take out 10 units or something if they can throw all of their weapons. They're really, really... You can basically just ignore them in almost every situation. The only time when they can really do anything is when they, like, get behind your phalanx units. And other than that, you can just, like, walk through them and... Cavalry is good against them, infantry is good against them if they can catch up. Over there. The only thing is they can be annoying if they just Over run away. Um, archers, not very effective against them, but they work. And I barely even need any troops for this. So Hopefully I won't get shot at by any wall towers. Doesn't look like there are any nearby the gate as usual, fortunately. Siege equipment is really wish I could get rid of that. So annoying. You guys can go on the fire at will. Oh! Those are not skirmishers, those are slingers. Okay, so they're far more dangerous, but maybe I'll get lucky and they'll put them behind their own troops and sight themselves down the side. Whether it's sight or side. Okay, are they firing? No. I don't think slingers can fire over walls. Right Our soldiers have reached the gates with the battering ram! can only shoot, like, straight forward. I don't think they can go over the walls. Because they can't, like, climb up all the walls or something. Okay. And... 6% of 
5% damage per hit. This it's day, the walls are taken. against archers, so it shouldn't be that. Although, if I do route, that would be awful because everybody will go out at once. Also, I did not have to put. So that'll just waste pylons. Yeah, I routed them. Okay, so now form up because if they s if they did send out their bull warriors right now, that would be Units, hurry, horrible. Hurry! And Auxilia. I'll keep some auxilia over here to have some Forward. semblance of a defense Forward. in my rear. At least I can slow down the bull warriors, but I don't think Auxilia are a match for bull warriors. Yeah, nowhere near. I mean, they have more def slightly more defense, but they have half, less than half as much attack. But they will slow them down, because their defense is higher than the bull warriors' attack, so that seems like it should mean that they should take quite a while to, to die. Now you guys can be on fire at will, which you already are. And I'm gonna see if I can get my general in and trap them. Don't be on fire at will, I don't want you killing my general. And now, yeah, as they try to route through me, I decimate their forces. easier. Do they have both bull, war bull warrior battalions here? Yes. Okay. Too bad I don't have archers. I don't probably help. And so advance up here. Keep the general behind you. So that for the morale bonus. Doubt it'll matter though. They probably won't route because we outnumber them around 2 to 1, and our troops are better than theirs, in my opinion, because they have so much higher defense, even though they do less damage, I think. Yeah, I think it was like 2 less damage, but I have 12 defense. Oh, 
and it stops when I pause. Oh man. Unfortunately, I do want to see. Yes, I can slow. Yeah. No wonder Archer was so Five defense compared to 24. How much defense skill? What's that? I wonder. Good morale. No. Oh, probably from the shield. I bet. Oh no. Because that's something totally different. Though that is kind of interesting. I guess that's that um, when they get hit from behind, they probably don't get the benefit of the shield, and they also get a rear rear shot penalty or something. So that's probably why they why the um, Roman legions are so especially vulnerable to rear shots. It's almost the only way to kill them. And their bulwark ears are. Streaming out. They're already wavering. We're not even attacking. Okay, send in the first two waves of the meat grinder. And keep the general behind them. Hopefully, I don't go through them. Skirmishers are holding their ground. Not a good idea. I would not do that if I were you. How are they eager now? Before they were wavering and wasn't even attacking them. Okay. So now they're sending out their first bull warrior wave. Unfortunately, I don't have like a morale penalty f or a morale bonus from massively overwhelming numbers because I can't actually come close. It's not supposed to happen. Well, this is melee combat. So. Oh wow, some people are using people. Actually, I don't think those are people. Because I think that's normal. No, it doesn't say what it's called. This victory still seems certain. Okay. Legionary! General is slain, and now his men fear us. Run. It is time to press the attack. Okay. Now here, the reason we did so poorly I think, in that engagement was that we were not in formation. This should help. And we must protect the rock. Two hundred. Well, not teach you much in the school of 
tactics. Full Warrior School of Tactics. A. Charge. There will be a quiz Tuesday. Okay, see if you can get up there without stop and run. All of you. Legionary! How is it that they, like, took out 20 of my units, but I only took out 5 of theirs, or something? I only, no, I only took out 1 of theirs. Okay, you stay in the back and toss P on that. And you guys can... Legionnaires have this good morale buff. Their morales all so yeah, their morales are already pretty good. And I have my gym. Also, the fact that victory is almost a certainty should help. So yeah, they're all still eager. So they are winning now. Maybe I should have rotated my out. Oh well. I can set the battle on high speed. And this is probably one of my least tactically involved battles ever so far in this, well, yeah, in this um, series. But it's fine. Because, I mean, it's not like I made a tactical blunder, I'm just using. I'm just not doing it as well as I could. I'm choosing to use brute force. Although, given that I did that with only two units, out of, well, technically three in my general, out of my 20 unit army, I think that was still pretty good. And vegetable, stop telling me what to do. Victory! Oh, how happy are you? Settlement captured! That's a big population, so I think I'll occupy it. That's a big unhappiness amount. Wow, distance to capital 75%. You can't. You don't have um, whatever the thing is that allows you to build. Oh, uh, I think this is the. Where's the booze? I can't even tell what the right thing is. Their building, their military, like normal military production building is. Shrine to Saturn, public order zero, they're probably gonna revolt or something. Well, at least the Senate has noted my efforts and is most grateful, which means nothing. I believe. Orders. Mm. Oh, you're going to kick. Orders. Me. March. March. Okay. And right, I had this ship Aye, that actually is Set sail. does not need to be moved by me. Just riding. Senate office.
this is assigned. Nice. Got three of the titles. Carthago. Carthago. Boom's depleted, sir. And Senate floor. Yeah, I have the highest standing with the Senate, which is why I have half of the offices. Although they are the lower half, so not exactly the greatest. Oh wow! And this guy is the Praetor now. I think that means he gets a combat bonus. Uh, no, just management. So, you need more public order. <laughs> Still 0%. Okay, I should have enslaved or exterminated them. Because I have... close to finishing all those things I told them to do a really long time ago. Uh, shipwright for more money, regardless of taxes, and Palma, Palma, you can just sit tight and wait for Cuba. You're already building. Carthage, how close are you to finishing? Wow. Still have three things to go. Communal farming, because that worked so well in communist China. <laughs> Maybe I should start training some town watch to replace me. In fact, I'm gonna start training peasants because they're better at maintaining public order. And Sir! I don't even know if there's any point in me having my army here given that. They don't seem to be, um, Ready to sail. given that it's still 0%. But anyways, after that major battle, wait, no. Um, I'm gonna end the episode Ready soon. to sail! Set sail! Okay. Yeah. Aye, aye, Captain! So, I'm gonna end the episode here, and thank you all for watching, and see you next video. Bye!